Oh, you guys showed up, eh? Hi, I'm Dronius and welcome back to the channel. Last night I went to bed with the intent to play this new game called Pokemon Sleep. One of the two games announced all the way back in 2019 that was stuck in development hell for 5 years before finally seeing the light of day. And it's a lot of fun. We know Pokemon Go encourages folks to go outside and touch grass. Or Pokemon Smile encourages lazy kids to brush their teeth every morning instead of spraying cologne in their mouths to make it smell good. But what about people with sleep deprivation? A bunch of people, myself included, never really cared about getting 8 to 10 hours of sleep every night, and sometimes we still feel tired anyways. That's where Pokemon Sleep comes in. And as the name implies, the entire gameplay is encouraging people to actually get some sleep. Rest your very best, the trailer says. If there's a competitive leaderboard for how long you're able to sleep, the top ranked players are hospital patients that have been stuck in a coma for 10 years. We truly live in a society. What I want to know is that is it possible to actually be able to fix someone's sleep schedule with this game? And if playing this is worth the effort like Pokemon Go and Smile? I downloaded the app and decided to give it a shot. Let's see how we do. After you do the regular sign up process mobile games make you do, we are greeted by a chubby looking professor named Neroli. He researches sleeping habits of various Pokemon scattered across multiple islands in this game. All of these islands are home to many Snorlaxes with powers to put Pokemon around them to sleep. With a device Neroli developed called the Sleep Synchronizer used to amplify the snoozy power of Snorlaxes, our main goal is to help the professor study and research each Pokemon's sleeping habits by sleeping with them in real time. In terms of the plot, it ends here, but from there you'll be doing some of the tutorial for the first few days. At night, the game keeps track of your sleeping habits using a smartphone or the Pokemon Go Plus peripheral. In order for the game to do so, you have to place your phone or the plastic accessory on the bed. Either device shouldn't be placed on hard surfaces such as the floor, since it prevents the game from tracking your movements. If you're using an iOS or Android phone, it should be kept plugged in with the game open and the screen turned on. It's also advised to not place your phone under the pillow or any blankets, as this may cause the phone to overheat. When you wake up the next morning, the game will grade your sleep and give a score based on the sleep's duration and consistency, and will categorize the sleep into the dozing, snoozing, slumbering, or balanced types. And various Pokemon will appear around Snorlax, corresponding to the sleep type of the day. Researching these Pokemon will allow you to fill out and complete their sleep style decks. They can also be recruited as helpers by offering them various biscuits. These helper Pokemon will gather items such as berries and cooking ingredients, and can be leveled up and evolved. If you have a lot of helpers, you can organize them into various teams that you can rotate at any time, with each team holding up to 5 Pokemon. The type of sleep habits are actually cool since you can check out the graphs for each night to see what time you started to fall into a deep sleep, and this game even has the option to record your voice using your phone's built-in microphone. Although it does sound a little bit weird listening to your own voice. But if this makes you uncomfortable, you can disable the microphones in the settings menu. So you raise Snorlax by feeding it berries and cooking its meals, although you can only give it 3 meals once in the morning, afternoon, and night. Feeding Snorlax increases its strength, which is multiplied by the player's sleep score to form its drowsy power. As its power increases, the number of Pokemon gathered around Snorlax the next morning will also increase, giving you a chance to find rare sleep styles. Once it gains enough strength, its rating will go up. However, once the week is over, you'll have to leave the Snorlax behind to reset the rating system and find a new one to do it all over again. You can receive Dream Shards as a reward for each time Snorlax's rating increases, and more species have a chance to sleep with it. Professor Neroli gives players goals to encourage them to study a variety of different sleep styles. Each time the player meets a goal by registering a certain number of sleep styles in their decks, they can receive a variety of rewards, including diamonds and access to new features. A button on the main screen tracks the player's progress towards their next goal, and once it has been met, you can claim your goal rewards. And that's pretty much it for the main gameplay and features. There's side missions you can partake in to get rewards, and a cooking feature where you can cook for your research helpers and give them additional stats, but most of your time is going to be sleeping at night. During daytime, the game becomes pointless, so in order to make any sort of progress, you have to wait for a long time just to get shit done. Although I was only getting 5 hours of sleep with every session, Pokemon Sleep can fix a person's sleep schedule by offering them more EXP and rewards the longer you rest. Plus, more Pokemon will spawn around Snorlax with multiple sleep styles to discover. Much like Pokemon Go and Smile, sleep does a good job at encouraging folks to go to bed early and not feel tired, even if it doesn't fix the issue every time. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go head outside and... Huh, I wonder what that could be.